Hello and uh, welcome to my presentation on the last project I've worked at, on at BU for my software engineering class. Um, so in software engineering uh, we uh, made little groups uh, so of students of uh, you know between five to eight and uh, we learned how to work in groups and how to develop uh, the software and how to get uh, a team to work towards a common goal. I volunteered as a team leader so I was able to propose my idea. I wanted to make a video game, a 3D video, a th 3D video game using Unity and C Sharp. So thought it would be a fun exercise, a fun assignment for the last semester. So software engineering was all about you know, so a methodology um, we learned about Agile and Scrum and things like that, and we've also learned about some software that can help us uh, build together, such as a Pivotal Tracker and uh, GitHub. Um, so, yeah. Um, so, since I was team leader um, and it was the first time meeting the uh, the other teammates, uh, we decided to take it slow at first and just. Uh, meet up for drinks and have a good time, just get to know each other. Then we'd start brainstorming and brainstorm all the time. Either uh, we'd meet once a week or uh, we would just randomly talk when we'd see each other in class and things like that. So it was uh, all in all a very good experience. Um, I learned a lot of things I'd never thought about, like uh, risk ma management. That was one of the new things I learned, and uh, um, more technical things, uh, unit testing. Uh, had never done that before. So this was our the uh, this was our uh, document for um, the, our proposal project our proposal document um, stating what other games we looked at and things that we what we could do uh, what were what our scope was and um, yeah for the first week we only did a, a tutorial on uh, on YouTube so we followed just a tutorial to get the team to understand uh, unity and how to work with unity I would be responsible for uh, the uh, 3d uh, models um, since I've done some uh, modeling before when I was uh, in industrial design uh, let me see if I can show you uh, probably in my recent this is the uh, the main character uh, Albert was the uh, so basically the game is a shoot 'em up game with elements of spelling and this is the uh, the uh, main character of the game. It's going to be the the player character. Um, see if I can show you. So, so I did the texturing, the modeling, and now I'm trying to get to the armature to show an animation. Uh, While well, this animation is not in, so let's just uh, go to the dope sheet and action. Uh, here I'm going to get back to my model. It's extremely slow since I'm filming at the same time. Screen capturing. Let's do the uh, run animation. Okay, so yeah, so I spent some time developing the uh, models and uh, 3D uh, assets of the game while the other teammates were working on um, different parts such as um, um, what's called UI, uh, just changing between scenes and uh, the backbone of the of the game, the uh, uh, word selection, and all of that, which is I'm which is what I'm going to show you next. So we built a game using Unity and uh, uh, Blender for um, uh, modeling. So this is going to be a th um, a shoot 'em up game with elements of um, um, spelling. So there's going to be a um, uh, a hint of a word to spell scrolling at the top of the screen and we would have to um, spell out the word. I'm using the keyboard only um, and uh, move with the uh, the arrows and uh, shoot with space. The first stage is the letter collection. Uh, Albert is uh, um, being attacked by enemies. There's passive enemies which are consonants and active enemies which are vowels. Once the letters uh, have been collected uh, there's a boss that comes out, and um, um, we have to uh, spell the word, which is cat for this one. Uh, if we spell uh, incorrectly, the boss goes into a, an upset coroutine and attacks. And when we are sp spelled it correctly, it's the end of the stage. And there's going to be a second stage um, where there's a different uh, a different boss that comes out um, and you do that a couple times until you're done with the uh, with the level so yeah
Well, thank you for watching.